Welcome to Zigma Tech Learning Hub. I will be your instructor for agricultural science. For this class, we are going to be taking our exercises from the exam guide app. If you don't have the application already installed on your device, I will want you to download the app in order to follow along in this class. The exam guide is a leading educational app that helps students prepare adequately for various exams like UTME, post-UTME, YAP, GCE, KCPE, IGMB, JPEB, Carbelpedia, BECE, JSCE, NCEE, NECO, to mention a few. You can download the app from www.examguide.com or Google Play Store. Please subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell to be updated on new videos. Ready for today's class? Okay, let's get started. Considering agriculture as a vital sector of the nation's economy, the government often comes in to assist and accelerate the pace of agricultural development. These assistance, rendered by a good government, comes in diverse ways and methods and are generally referred to as the roles of government in agriculture. For the government to be effective in the execution of its assistance or roles, it requires good agricultural policies, programs, financing, and regulation. So our topic for today is Roles of Government in Agricultural Development, Part 1. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to state the roles of government in agricultural development and also highlight the agricultural programs set up by the government but we're going to focus on just the rules of government in agricultural development. Now, the first rule or the rule we'll look at here is the provision of finance or financial assistance. So the government helps or provides financial assistance to farmers. It's one of the rules or the ways by which the government has helped or helps in agricultural development. So the government helps in the provision of financial assistance to farmers. This could be in the form of loans, credits, and subsidies. And it's also done through certain agencies like the Nigerian Agricultural and Cooperative Bank, which is known as NSCB, or the acronym NSCB. We also have the Agricultural Credit Guarantee Scheme. That's another agency the government use or uses as a means of financing farmers. We also have the National Directorate of Employment, NDE. Let's look at the meaning of agricultural subsidies and credits, because I just mentioned that the government provides financial assistance to farmers in the form of loans, credits, and subsidies. Now, what is a credit or agricultural credit? A credit is a repayable loan. Now, what is a loan? Money given to somebody that will be paid back. That's a loan. So a credit is a repayable loan and it is given to the farmer with the hope that the farmer will pay back within a specified period of time. We also have what is called the subsidy, as I stated earlier. What's the meaning of a subsidy? It's an aid given to the farmers, either in cash or kind, but in this case, it's without the intention of collecting it back from the farmer. So that's the difference. Now you can see the difference between the credit and subsidy. Credit will be paid back, but the subsidy will not be paid back. Now let's look at the examples of a subsidy. For example, we have reduction in the prices of inputs, such as fertilizers, improved seeds and chemicals, which are the things that the farmer uses in the course of his production of his crops, or his animals. So when these prices are reduced, that the government pays off a particular amount concerning this produce and the farmer just pays a little. It's called a subsidy. The farmer doesn't pay back. It's given to farmers either in cash or kind without the, without the intention of collecting it back from the farmer. Still looking at the rules of government and agricultural development, we have the establishment of agricultural programs. So the government has helped to, or has established agricultural programs in order to boost the production of crops and livestock. 
Let's take a look at some of these programs. We have the Agricultural Loan Scheme. There are quite a number, but let's just go through them. We have the Agricultural Loan Schemes. We have the River Basin Development Authorities, the National Agricultural Insurance Scheme, Green Revolution, Operation Feed the Nation, National Agricultural Land Development Agency, NALDA. We have ADP, which is Agricultural Development Project. We also have the Directorate of Food, Road, and Rural Infrastructure, which is called DFRI. We have the National Accelerated Industrial Crop Production Program, NAICPP. We also have the National Accelerated Food Production Program, which is NAFPP. We have agro-service centers, farm settlement scheme, and also have cooperative farming. So these are some of the agricultural programs that have been established by the government in order to boost or help in the development of agriculture. Another role the government plays in the development of agriculture is the provision of farm inputs. And what are these inputs? These are certain things used by the farmer in the course of his production, like the fertilizers, farm tools and implements, chemicals. So the farmer helps, the government has helped to provide these in sufficient quantities and at subsidized rates for the farmers to enable these farmers to buy and use them. We have the provision of basic amenities. Now, what are these amenities? We have things like electricity, healthcare centers or healthcare service, pipe on water. In this have been provided by the government in rural areas where farming takes place or basically the inhabitants of such rural areas are involved in farming. So in order to prevent the able-bodied men and youths from migrating from these rural areas to the urban areas in search of jobs in other professions and other fields, the government has helped to provide basic amenities so as to encourage the youths and the able-bodied men to reside or remain in the rural areas and get engaged in farming. We also have the provision of storage and processing facilities. So the government has helped to provide storage and processing facilities to prevent food wastage, especially in periods of scarcity. And this has been provided in various parts of the country by the government. The government also plays another role in the sense that it helps, the government has helped to the provision of an effective transportation network. Now, farms are usually located in rural areas and the produce from these farms need to be transported or moved to the urban areas. And this brings to mind that good road network needs to be made available for these goods to be moved or this farm produce to be moved or transported from the rural areas to the urban areas or urban centers. So without the good roads or good vehicles, you find out that most of the farm produce will be wasted and this could discourage the farmers. Provision of pest and disease control services. So since farmers produce food in large quantities, the government has also helped to make the provision of these drugs, chemicals and vaccines which are used by the farmers to help prevent pests and to also help control diseases. So the government has been able to make the provision of these things I just mentioned, the drugs, the chemicals and the vaccines. And the government has also helped to employ pathologists and veterinary doctors and also entomologists to help in the prevention and control of pests and diseases of both crops and animals as well. Government has also helped to establish Quarantine departments and what do these quarantine departments do? They are set up in order to monitor what goes on at um, the ports or at the airports, the seaports and the borders concerning those who import plants and animals to get involved in agricultural production using foreign or exotic breeds you know, so some of these animals coming in or some of these plants coming in may be carriers of disease, may be infected. So the government has set up a quarantine department in order to 
carry out some investigations to be sure that the plants and animals are free of pests and diseases. Another role the government has played or plays in agricultural development is agricultural extension services. Now, this is a program by the government, banks, and cooperative societies and other agents by which they are able to disseminate information. This has to do with ideas and information to the farmers from the research institute to the farmers and from the farmers back to the research institute. So the government has been able to employ qualified and experienced extension officers in order to perform these roles. Provision of agricultural education is another role that the government has played in agricultural development. Now, it's a fact that many Nigerian farmers are illiterate and as a result of this, the government has also stepped in to help solve this problem by providing what is called adult education. And an example of an adult education is nomadic education for cattle Fulani rarers. And this enables them to read, to write, and also to apply modern systems of farming, and also to promote easy acceptance of new techniques and innovations in agriculture. And also, the government also has helped to encourage the teaching of agriculture in schools. So this is another major role that the government has played or is still playing in agricultural development. Government also plays another major role in agricultural development by the provision of research work. Now, this is done in order to improve our local breeds and local varieties of our crops and animals. So the government has set up research institutes that help to provide the problems associated with our local crops and animals. And this helps to increase production by our local crops or from our local crops and animals. Now, let's look at the examples, some of the examples the government of the research institutes that, that have been established by the government in order to improve our local crops and animals. We have the National Cereal Research Institute, NCRI, which is located in Onigambari, that is near Ibadan. We have the Cocoa Research Institute of Nigeria, CRIN. We also have the Nigerian Institute for Oil Palm Research, NIFOR, which is located in Benin have the National Institute for Trypanosomiasis Research, NITR. We also have the National Horticultural Research Institute, NIHORT, which is located in Ibadan. We have the National Veterinary Research Institute, NVIR, VOM, which is located in Jos. We have the Lake Chad Research Institute, LCRI, which is located in Maiduguri. We also have the Leather Research Institute of Nigeria, LRIN, which is located in Zaria, Kaduna State. And we have the National Stored Produce Research Institute, NSPRI, which is located in Ilori. We have the Rubber Research Institute of Nigeria, RRIN, which is located in Benin. I'm just listing some of the research institutes that have been established by the Nigerian government. We also have the National Root Crop Research Institute, NRCRI, which is located in Umudike. We have the Forest Research Institute of Nigeria, FRIN, which is located in Ibadan. We have the National Institute for Oceanography, Oceanography and Marine Research, NIO. MAR, that's Neomar, which is located in Lagos. Let's take a look or have a recap on what we've learned so far. We looked at the roles the government has played in agricultural development, and these roles include the provision of financial assistance, establishment of agricultural programs, provision of farm inputs, provision of basic amenities, provision of storage and processing facilities, provision of effective or an effective transportation network, the provision of pest and disease control services, also the provision of extension services, 
and also agricultural education, and finally, the provision of research work. Let's take a look at some questions concerning the topic we just learned. This question says, the construction of rural feeder roads solves the following access problems in agriculture, except, so it solves the following access problems in agriculture, except, the first is marketing, the next is transportation, C option is extension service, D option is land tenure system. So the answer there is land tenure system because they said it solved the following problems except. So the answer is land tenure system, D. Let's take another question from another year. This question states that quarantine measures in agriculture are aimed at A, regulating cost of importation of crops and animals, B, preventing the introduction of pest and disease, C, maintaining genetic purity of crops and animals, D, introducing new varieties of crops and breeds of animals. The answer here is B, it helps to prevent the introduction of pests and diseases. We'll take another question from another year. This question states that subsidies are given to farmers in the form of A, reduced prices of inputs, B, provision of social infrastructure, C, high tariff on imported inputs, D, short-term loans. The answer is reduced prices on inputs, of inputs. Remember the definition I gave for the meaning of subsidies. So it has, the government just reduces the prices of inputs such as fertilizers and chemicals. So the answer is A. Thank you for participating in today's class. You can practice more questions using the exam guide app. The app scores and gives a detailed explanation of all the questions at the end of your practice test. You can learn a particular topic of interest with different modes like study mode, mock mode, and practice mode. It also has other features that make learning fun. It is a must-have for all serious students. Download from www.examguide.com if you don't have it yet. See you in the next class. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel hit the notification bell and share the video to people that would benefit from it.